Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Um, we have we had a successful run last time. I'm really proud of our new international pay star. Um, today we're gonna be uh, using it to haul some um, stuff up to the Riverside Repair here to the Bozeman House. Uh, it requires two service spare parts and two wooden uh, planks. Um, now, I kind of want to do this in one go. Uh, I noticed we had, we have um, a trailer here, flatbed semi-trailer, which has three service, per, uh, service spare parts, which we could use this, so we just have a little, uh, a shorter route here, but that requires me to have a low saddle on the truck, which prohibits it having any kind of other uh, attachments like um, the thing we need to actually haul uh, the planks themselves um, so actually I'm gonna be doing this uh, because we also want to do this we have a um, we have a, what was it drainage yeah we have we have another pump to do for drainage which is exactly here which we can totally do it's on our way so um, yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, put uh, let's put a low saddle on the truck, and then make our way here up to the pump. So customize uh, frame add-ons, uh, saddle low. Uh, here's the thing: uh, saddle low is for more or less most of the trailers you see out there. Um, saddle high is for uh, extremely heavy semi-trailers that uh, you know the ones that have like five six slots I've just seen them in videos so far we haven't I don't think I, we have actually seen them in the first map uh, they're the ones that like carry drill bits and you know most of the in-game stuff um, but so yeah we're gonna pick up a set of low uh, hmm well uh, we can still use a hitch, right? Yeah, we can still use a normal trailer. Oops, sorry. We can still use a normal trailer. And if I'm not mistaken, was there a trailer left? Yeah, well, no, we left the trailer up here, right? Cyborg trailer. Oh, right, so we can totally uh, go with the flatbed semi trailer, and then we can go back here, grab a cyborg trailer, and grab the, the planks. It's gonna be just a bit of roundabout, but it's still gonna be in one go. But either way, first things first, let's get that uh, fuel pump active. And yeah, with this, that should be just enough uh, XP for us to finally level up. of fun with uh, uh, with SnowRunner. It's not my type of game usually. I'm uh, a lot more into like turn-based strategies and stuff like that but I don't know for whatever reason uh, the game really caught on to me and uh, actually inspired me enough to uh, make this series. I guess it has enough uh, pauses in the action where uh, uh, it actually kind of becomes like a turn-based strategy at some points. <laughs> Where to do what to, what to... I mean, you have all the time in the world when you're stuck half deep in muck. Okay, so... I think this should be the pump area, right? Uh, let's track that for the moment. Okay, 
so that one is here. Uh, take a bit of a look because I I don't particularly like the idea of marching straight across the water. For as much as I trust the pace star, I don't want to end up in a recovery situation here. Okay, um, from the get go we see some small pine trees, whatever, over there, poking through the water. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Um, so we'll probably have... To, I mean, that to me seems like a higher road. Compared to the water here, which has nothing. So uh, let's try that. Do we have any other good options here? In the, in the distance... Let's actually look at the map as well. Yeah, actually, if we're, I mean, this has been relatively vague up to this point. Uh, but if we are to follow this, uh, there should be like a better option were we to go like this, actually. Well, actually, not, not even like that. Let's, uh... Hmm. For us to be entirely safe, let's do the long way around. Let's do this and this. That will actually give us the maximum availability of trees for us to grapple on in case we need to. So we don't have any issues regarding just being stuck in the middle of the water with no uh, winch points around. As well as making sure this is a uh, fast endeavor so we don't spend 30 minutes on this. But again, to be fair, uh, the map can be really disingenuous uh, in regards to showing how accessible ground is, terrain is, and even, you know, looking, right? Uh, that little terrain you see there can be fully mucky. The only thing it's more or less exact on the map itself is on tree placement. So you know where patches of trees are more exactly. Okay, let's head through here. Through this. Oh, this is actually one of those uh, super strong tree forests. Nice. Okay, let's activate all wheel drive because we're already having some trouble with the terrain here. Let's not smack the car all over. Okay. It's a tree? Yep, that is indeed a tree. It's, uh... Can I actually fit through these two? No, I can't. Uh, I need to fit through. Ooh, is there through these two? There we go. Using that first person view for. Something more than realism. And there we go. That's a pump activated. Let's head back. I believe we are the exact same routes, uh, same tracks we left. It's like, you know, going through a minefield. <laughs> let's not make sure we don't. Let's not make sure. Wow, that's some amazing English. Uh, let's make sure we will not. Uh, get stuck in like some weird spot wow this is such a fantastic truck I, mean, I, I guess I could have done this with a scout truck to be fully honest uh, but I mean we have some we had some troubles with the Chevrolet um, altogether uh, I'm not sure exactly what it really needs and I mean probably some better uh, tires mud tires but I'm really not certain that would uh, solve our problems.
I mean, technically it would be like a better thing to do for this, because it's such a light truck, I think. I mentioned how this feels lighter than the Lead Star itself. So, the chassis weight matters. But I just, you know, in, when we had that little problem, the epic fail, like, I don't know, two episodes ago, I, I didn't see that much of a difference with the Chevrolet uh, going through that uh, very uh, thick mud. I could expect it to sit a lot higher on the mud, but it didn't. But, you know, at that point you get into the issue of uh, footprint, and this being a very wider footprint, you know, in terms of wheelbase, uh, you would expect this to do better just because it distributes its weight uh, better across you know a bigger area compared to the Chevrolet which while being lighter uh, it still has a smaller uh, wheelbase so it distributes the weight in a, and I don't know what I mean to say uneven but you put more pressure on the ground In that uh, semi trailer now, I'm getting some. Uh, I'm getting some. Uh, uh, doubts in regards to the fact of whether we can actually pick it up because I just realized that semi trailer. <laughs> that semi trailer uh, has like six things on it. I really, 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 really hope I didn't make a mistake with this. For some reason, I, I thought, uh, I, you know, I, I just considered the uh, service materials which was on it. I didn't consider the. Um, oh, actually, that's not the truck. It's on the trailer. But I was saying I considered the service materials on it. I didn't consider the entire weight, which I think is like two service materials and two, and one something else and one something else. This may actually need a high saddle. <laughs> uh, I hope not. I really, really hope not. Also, am I? Yeah, it's right here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. This requires a high saddle. Oh, my God. I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad. Wow. Yeah, no. Uh, whew, right. This is indeed a low saddle. Uh, I guess the high saddle would have went a lot further near the cab. I remember seeing them act like that. But either way, oh, I'm so happy. Uh, I was honestly thinking right now that uh, maybe I should just remake this episode because I don't want to spend another 15 minutes... Uh, uh, going back and getting the proper one. But, well, all's good that ends good. All's well that ends well. All's good. Ah, same difference. We're now carrying... What even are we carrying? We're carrying... The three service, well, one brick, and one. I have no idea what that icon is. Wow. 
this is having a bit of trouble with it. I mean, this is, I think, the most I've ever, ever carried on a truck. Five items, five slots worth of items instead of uh, four slots. This is a very long one, so let's take some very wide berths. funny to me how well, you can just pick up these things in town and like, hey, yeah, neighbor, yeah, totally take those materials and stuff. I mean, I, I think I don't read... Oh, easy. I don't read the map description. Let's actually have a second look at that. Uh, Michigan... Uh, I thought it would have, like, some description, but from the... Um, background information that you, you know, read in the tasks and such. Apparently there was some kind of a flood here, so I can imagine it's like uh, everyone helping each other out kind of a situation. Of course, I know that for game mechanics sake it needs to be like that, sure. But, slow because I really want to keep momentum. If this ever gets stuck, I think I can just give up. <laughs> so I need to keep momentum in this. Wow, that's a pretty bad area to go through this. Eesh. Okay, let's make the most of it. Let's take it easy. Try and keep these large chunks of uh, dirt under our wheels and not go through the hardened areas. Well, not hardened, but uh, embossed, engraved, embossed, whatever, the deepened areas. Oh, 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 easy there. Easy. Flipping this over would be bad. I'm pretty sure this extremely long trailer is not meant for this tiny forest road. Is it out? Yeah, it's mostly out. Let's switch over to auto again. Barely any increase in, uh, in speed. is having a hard time of it. Actually, I did the uh, Google and apparently heavy trucks may have, may have stronger winches and heavy duty trucks are the ones you use to haul super heavy loads like this. But we're having a good uh, run of it so far with this. show task. Uh, do I need to deliver this? Yeah, I need to deliver this behind, uh, behind the truck, behind the house here. Uh, wow, okay. This is going to be really, really, really tough because I just don't have the memory uh, space here. I don't think anyone expected me to actually come with this like ridiculously huge uh, trailer. Okay, let's not break the dude's house, shall we? But you know, actually uh, managing trailers is really, really difficult because you have to kind of think of three different uh, angles because it's just scissors. Let's ignore these boats. I think I can just go through slash past them. Okay, let's get some back. Let's pull this in. 
I don't even need to really pull the trailer itself, to be honest. I just need to get myself with the truck itself on it. So cargo management. This is cheap, but it is what it is. Riverside repair. That's two materials. And... Uh, it would be wise for future me. Future me will thank me if I just get this out of the way and put it in a position where I can easily hitch it. There we go. Let's release this. This has served me well. And let's uh, head over to the wooden plank express. The local bricolage uh, area. Start tracking. Yeah. Okay. So we indeed do need only two more wood planks and we'll get those two wood planks from the sawmill, lumber mill. There we go, that should be rough lit. But we do need it for this section. Yeah, again, I keep noticing how differently the gear switch on this compared to the heavy truck. It's really visible. The heavy truck will probably continue with whatever gearing it was in, like 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5, and just kept going without uh, switching. And again, I, I keep wondering whether that's tied to the tires themselves and how much traction it actually gets. Because, you know, if, if it's spinning out, uh, the truck itself is thinking it's going really fast when it's not. So it may have something to do with that. Man, I, I cannot wait to get the uh, altering tires for the Fleet Star as well. Like, get the shot and see whether any of my theories actually pan out and how deep the simulation actually goes. Because, you know, I, I keep throwing these uh, concepts out there of you know what happens in real life and uh, how the game sh would or should handle it and I'm just not sure right I do have to say this uh, town is pretty pretty Squeech. turn there. made good business for these guys over the past uh, <laughs> few episodes, haven't we? Ooh. Wow, that was terrible. Uh, by the way, didn't, didn't we say we would be... Uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, uh, we made a mistake in my talking. I actually forgot that we are supposed to be getting that cyborg trailer from here because we have nothing to actually pick this up with. And is it wise? Yeah, I think it's wise to actually also refuel 
if we're doing this. Yeah, you know what? Let's. <sighs> it's okay. I can refuel when I get back. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. Uh, my mind just wandered. I forgot we actually need a spot to actually put the things on us. You know, my initial thought was like, uh, oh, hey, yeah, we'll just, uh, you know, before we started all this, I was like, yeah, I'll just get the flatbed, uh, get, the, uh, get the planks, uh, then get the trailer and just deliver everything in one go. But uh, I just uh, remember... A, when we started that uh, that actually needs a saddle and saddle precludes the use of uh, any kind of flatbed on the truck so that messed up some of our plans but hey it's a beautiful night out here in the game to make a little uh, car driving Uh, relax. Now, who was the guy that parked this so horribly? Was it me? Yes, it was me. Let's... And one of the bad things about nighttime, you don't really see your wheels. You don't really know your alignment. Okay. Ooh. Easy there, juggling trailer. I mean, you see this when you attach trailers, and you see this when you approach uh, towable trucks and stuff like that, when they just freak out and jelly out for a, a little while. Uh, that's because, if I'm not mistaken, the game doesn't track them as physics objects, just to keep the simulation count low. But it does uh, the moment you, uh, uh, you know, attach it or you know, get near enough that you would hit it. Uh, and actually, let's do this, let's do this, let's refuel, just so we don't end up uh, without fuel in the middle of nowhere. And more importantly, that we don't have to grab a secondary truck to fuel this truck, so... Yeah, just make ourselves less headaches down the line. by fuel by C F escape uh, yeah well, I think the smart option just return and do this do I have the turning radius for this why I do not Desire path. Actually, do you guys know the concept of, of a desire path? A desire path are paths which are not, you know, designed as paths or not, you know, not settled and concreted or something. But they're paths which just get created by being well used, well worn, well traveled. 
so you end up with uh, just you know that worn path to it. So desire paths, paths which people want. That was your uh, daily tidbit. Again, I'm kind of glad the trailer physics are this generous because for sure I would have uh, snapped uh, a hitch in real life in this uh, situation. Just uh, such a huge angle between the truck and the um, trailer. So, uh, do we need wood planks? Yes, we indeed no, we need wood planks. Do we need two wood planks? We need two wood planks. Load, load. There we go. Now, let's. Get out. And yeah, I can handle it from here. In regards to again truck classes and such, um, heavy trucks again, they're I've read that they're more for recovery just because they, they're they heavier <laughs> as much as uh, that makes sense. Uh, and when you're pulling something, it will actually pull it to you instead of uh, uh, you know, you getting dragged by it just because off road trucks are so light. We actually seen it, uh, I think, last episode when he got the drowned uh, Kodiak truck from the mud, and it was more or less a. I was pulling it as much as it was pulling me, and we kind of met halfway. Um, but that's not something that uh, would happen with a heavy truck, right? I mean, we've had the Fleet Star get pulled a few times, but it wasn't like equal, right? Even when pulling extremely heavy loads. It was just a tiny bit until the truck itself wedged uh, in the mud. Let's give it a bit more of a wide berth. It's not as long as the thing we pulled earlier, but still something to be concerned about but okay we're in the middle of town this is by far not the most dangerous spot in which you can get your trailer stuck on a pole or something is bouncing over the place in it. We're moving pretty fast in this very rocky terrain. And that there was just me uh, letting loose of the W key of acceleration. Uh, so the game, when I push it again, the game would uh, gear me up in the proper gear, so like gear one because we're in fifth. And this 
this little sludge of mud. Let's try keeping again to the higher ground. There we go. Let's go for a very quick lift here. Well, I tried, but <laughs> the truck skidded. downshift down to one automatically even if I had the W key pressed because you know to prevent the, the truck utterly stalling in place but I would imagine that's like so terrible to do on the gearbox in real life just uh, because you need to allow it to uh, you know switch off the clutch it pressed down I think nowadays I haven't mm, uh, used many automatics but I think nowadays the system is smart enough that it auto disengages um, and that doesn't really kill itself over it but uh, again it's still not the smartest thing to do okay I was hoping I would do that in a single go but oh well need to get in here. Cargo management. We were sorry for two out of two. Wonderful our small but proud fleet will be sailing down the river in no time. Thanks a lot. That's 180 XP. Kinda thought you'd be a bit more, but anyway, 1600 credits. But more importantly, that actually gives us level six. Oh we've been waiting for this for so so long. Uh let's uh get that out of the way again. And it's definitely not behaving how we want to, but we will get it where we want to because we have raw horsepower. Let's attach the trailer. Let's do a quick recover. Yes. And we have we're a bit over, but we have just enough time for us to go through our available options now. Um yeah, this is rank nine. As I mentioned before, uh the first set of wheels were already pre-unlocked. Oh wow, these are actually double wheels. Huh. Huh. Okay. Uh, anyways. Um, so these are rank 9. Still uh, off limits to us. We need rank 8 for winches. Uh, we need to find this somewhere in... Oh, actually we need... Wow, rank 16 for a taller short cap. Sure. Um, so let's uh, check out the Chevrolet, customize, uh, tires, this actually, oh this was rank 7 not 6, did I get all my things mixed up, for sure, I think it was on the fleet star, uh, that the rank 6 was for tires, there we go, Terrain, all terrain, yeah, yeah, this was what got unlocked. Finally, switching over from 45s uh, highway tires to some 45s. And they're marked differently, so I guess they're better if we're getting the more expensive ones. So, yeah, let's get the 45s UAD 3s uh, all terrain tires. The difference that here being it goes from terrible in mud, poor actually, to uh, average in mud and from average on off-road to good in off-road, which is more or less what we care about on road, uh, not really that much. So let's get these and you know what, uh, I think, I know we're gonna, I do not know what we're going to be doing next time, let's have a look, but for sure I want to use the fleet star and see how much of a difference these wheels make. I don't think we have anything else that we care about. No, that's the level 8. Let's have a look at the map quickly enough so I don't keep you guys over. Um, we've actually done a fair bit of the tasks here. All of this left are... Yeah, we can totally finish this drainage because we already did most of uh, everything else. Uh, local entertainment, we haven't even picked up the quest yet. But I think we can do these in a single go. Um, missing machinery. 
as well as uh, local entertainment, just doing it in one go. Uh, Misty Machinery, Truck Recrane, because these are like all around and we actually need to crane them and put them on the truck itself. Hmm, so if we're going to be doing this, we have to do it with a truck, with a crane and a flatbed. While also doing the um, local entertainment, which is... Yeah, it recommends a scout because it's <laughs> pretty, pretty... Uh, off-road-ish, but not in a off-road capacity, but more like you cannot really do them with huge trucks. Hmm. That's interesting. Actually, now that I think of it, can we can we sell the, tra the trailers which are around the map? If I bring them back to the base, can I sell them? Hmm. We'll have to check that out, but it doesn't really matter for the moment. Um, yeah, we'll probably try and do this next time, uh, because if I'm not mistaken, all the other things which we still have are uh, involve us. No, this is separate, but this for sure. No, Pipe Dream is still local, right? You can deliver heavy fuel tanker semi-trailer. Deliver to factory. This. Huh. Semi-trailer, so it actually requires a uh, saddle high, right? Okay, either way, uh, probably next time we're, we're gonna be going over here to the factory and doing whatever we can from this uh, area. I don't know if I'm taking the scout or the off-road truck yet, maybe I'm taking the off-road truck, but we will see. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, do the usual uh, liking things, like, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. Uh, it really helps me out. And uh, if you guys like what I'm doing in terms of content, do leave a comment below telling me why and how it helps you. I've heard uh, this uh, comp content actually helps people sleep. So, hey, whatever works for you, I'm not judging as long as uh, the video runs fully through. Um, so, again, this was it. Thank you guys for joining me on uh, this journey and I'll see you guys in the next one.